now let us discuss about decimal to binary conversion so three decimal numbers are given so for these decimal numbers we have to construct the corresponding binary number so decimal means the base value is 10 so decimal number means a combination of 10 symbols from 0 to 9 whereas binary means 2 it is a combination of two symbols such as 0 and 1 let us see the first example 153 base 10 153 base 10 here we are having only integer part if we have integer part then we have to divide that number with 2 why because binary number means it contains two symbols so 2 let us divide that number with 2 so 2 so 2 7s are 14 2 6 are 5 so 76 is the quotient 1 is the remainder 1 is the remainder again divide 76 with 0 76 with 2 2 38s are 76 so quotient is 38 remainder is 0 next we again divide 38 with 2 so 2 19s are 38 so 19 is the quotient 0 is the remainder again divide 19 with 2 so 2 9s are 18 so quotient is 9 remainder is 1 next we again divide 9 with 2 so 2 4s are 8 so 4 is the quotient 1 is the remainder next 2 2s are 4 0 0 is the remainder next 2 1s are 2 0 is the remainder next 2 0s are 0 so 1 so 2 1 so 2 0s are 0 so 1 minus 0 means 1 so this 1 is the remainder this 0 is the quotient so for integer part we have to repeat the procedure till we get 0 if we get 0 then we can stop the process and here the result is we have to take the number from bottom to up we have to take the number from bottom to up so this one is the most significant bit this one is the least significant bit so 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 base 2 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 so base 2 so this is the binary number for this decimal number now let us solve the second example in second example we have only fractional part if we have fractional part then we have to multiply that number by 2 here we, we are having integer part integer part means we have to perform division by 2 here we are having fractional part so we have to divide we have to multiply that number by 2 so 0 0.6775 into 2 is equal to that means we have to add these two values so 0 0.6875 0 0.6875 so 5 5 are 10 5 5 means 10 so 7 7 14 15 8 8 16 1 17 next 6 6 12 12 plus 1 13 so the result is 1.3750 1.3750 here the integer part is 1 so we have to extract the integer part and let us write that integer part here so after extracting this integer part then it will become 0 so next in the next step we have to write as 0.3750 50 zero. Five zero is nothing but 5 only why because here 1 is extracted 1 is written here so that's why after subtracting after extracting 1 the integer part will become 0 okay so now let us add let us uh, multiply with 2 so that is nothing but we add these two values so 5 5 10 7 7 14 15 next to 3 3 6 1 7 so 0 0.75 is the result 0 0.75 is the result so here the integer part is 0 so we have to write that integer part so now there is no change after uh, uh, after uh, uh, writing 0 here there is no change here why because if we subtract 0 with 0 then we will get 0 only so we need to write 0 0.75 multiply this one with 2 so 0 0.75 into 2 means what so 2 5s are 10 2 7s are 14 15 so 1.5 
So 1.50 is nothing but 1.5. Here, what is the integer part 1? So we have to write that integer part now. So 1 means here we have taken the integer part. Now it will become 0 0.5 in the next step. So 0 0.5 into 2 means that is nothing but 1.0. 1.0. So now we have to write this one here. We have to take one from this 1.0 and write here. Okay. So after writing one here, then this will become zero. So here the procedure is we have to continue the process till we get zero or 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 or 0 0.03. So likewise, here we got after taking one after take after writing one here, then if we sub, uh, then it will become zero only. So that means that z is 0, 0.0. So now we can stop the process. Here for the fractional part, we have to write the binary number from top to bottom. Here this is nothing but what? Uh, fractional part, decimal number. So here we have to write the result as 0, point, 0 point. Before the decimal point, we have 0. So 0 point and uh, from top to bottom. So 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. So this is the equivalent binary number for this decimal number. Now let us solve the third problem. If we take the first example, first problem contains only integer part. Whereas if we take second example, it contains only fractional part. Whereas if we consider third example, third example is a combination of integer part as well as fractional part. Integer part means we need to perform division by 2. Fractional part means we need to perform multiply by 2. So here what is the integer part? 27. So we need to perform division operation. So 27. So 2 13s are 26. So 13 is the quotient. 1 is the reminder. Next to 2 6 are 12. So 6 is the quotient. 1 is the reminder. Next to 2 3s are 0. So 3 is the quotient. 0 is the reminder. Next 2 1s are 2. So 1 is the quotient. 1 is the reminder. Next to 2 0s are 0. 0 is the quotient, 1 is the remainder. Here we got 0. So we can stop the process. Now we have to write the binding number from bottom to top. So here what is the number? 1 1. What is the number? 1 1 0 1 1. 1 1 0 1 1. After that, uh, we, need, after that uh, we need to place the dot and we need to write the result of this 0 0.315 binary number. Okay. So 1 1 0 1 1. So 1 1 0 1 1. Now let us consider the fractional part 0.315. Fractional part means we need to perform multiplication operation with 2. So into 2 is equal to so 0.315 where 0.315 means 5 5 are 10 next to 3 6. So 0 0.630. So we can write here as 0.63. So next we need to write the integer part. So let us write the integer part. So if we write the integer part then also we get 0 point only. So 0 0.63 into 2 means, so 63 into 2 means what? 126. So 1.26. So here what is the integer part? 1 is the integer part. Here already we have written integer part. So now we will get 0. So 0 0.26 into 2 is nothing but 1.52. 1.52. So what is 0 0.26? 0 0.26. 66. 225. 5. So I am sorry. So the result is what? 0 0.52. 0 0.52. So in this what is the integer part? Integer part is 0 only. Okay. Integer part is 0 only. Uh, so there is no change here. Let us write uh, uh, 0 0.52 in the next step. 0 0.52. Why? Because if you subtract 0 from 0 then we will get 0 only. So 0 0.52 into 2 means what is the result? 52. So 52. So 2 2 is 4. So 5 5 is 10. So 1.04. So 1.04. So we have to write this integer part here. So after writing the, after taking 1 here, uh, then we will get here 0. So 0 0.04. So we can omit that. So 0 0.04 is equivalent to 0 only. So we can stop the process now. And for the fractional part, we have to write the number, binary number from top to bottom. So 0 0.1, 0 0.1 base 2. 0 0.1, 0 0.1 base 2. So in this way, we can uh, convert a decimal number into binary number.